melanoma cases in the United States are increasing at a higher rate than most cancers. While melanoma accounts for about 4% of all skin cancers, it is responsible for the most skin cancer deaths. Many times, people fail to notice the early warning signs. I had a uh, freckle that was on my forehead for uh, most all of my life that I remember. And uh, in the last couple of years, it seemed like it uh, changed in size, shape, and discolored and turned from like you know, freckle brown to uh, dark looking black. Ronnie Taylor's case is anything but unique. Wake Forest University Baptist Medical Center surgeon Edward Levine agrees that early detection helps minimize risk. What you're looking for is a mole which has changed. And we talk about the ABCDs, A for asymmetry, B for border irregularity, C for color variegation, and D for diameter bigger than a pencil eraser. To remove the melanoma, surgeons at Wake Forest University Baptist perform a wide excision and sentinel lymph node mapping procedure. A radioactive tracer is injected into the area around the tumor to locate the nodes likely to contain cancer. The mapping process makes it possible for the surgeon to determine the staging of the disease and the accuracy of the prognosis. The nice thing about that is we're able to find relatively small deposits of radioactivity. They tend to collect in the lymph nodes after they're injected in the skin. So it's really a nice technique to be able to tell you which lymph nodes are most likely to have melanoma in them if indeed any of them do. Once the nodes are removed, they are brought to the pathology lab for intraoperative analysis to determine if melanoma is present and if more nodes need to be taken out. Sentinel lymph node mapping also serves as a guide for determining what additional therapies would be most effective after the completed surgery. Please join us on Tuesday, November 7th, as Wake Forest Baptist surgeons will demonstrate the procedure in a live internet webcast at 5 p.m. Eastern Time.